Hello everybody, this is Alex here, teaching you how to make firework, some fireworks, yeah. So, let's go here, called it challenge, I'm not really sure why, but here we go. So, fireworks is basically, basically like um, cannons in a way. Because when you want to propel TNT, you need to have the TNT fall into the water. So, what I got here, and I'll, sh I'll just build another one for you to see how to do it, but this is a basic one TNT firework launcher. I'll build it right now. See, it has to be 6 by 6 on the outside. Six by six on the outside, so let's make another one next to it. So it gotta be six by six. Let's make it big time. And I'm not gonna speed through this. It's really just a, it's a quick process, really. It's one of like the quickest things, probably even quicker than making a uh, TNT cannon, really. Maybe not. TNT cannons are really easy. But, um, so yes. Um, um, actually it's I think it's seven by seven. I just I think I miss yeah. It's seven by seven. I just miscounted. Yeah, it's seven by seven. That's what I thought. So, um, here we go. This is the bottom, and since it's a one TNT cannon, you put one block in the middle, like that. And the rest of this is going to be like the ground floor of where the TNT kind of migrate into. You want to make it so that the water is even. Is even now for I think the best results you want it to be two blocks above the water so it's two and another one so this block up here this block has to be two above the water so put that there And you know you can use anything you need. You want to make it out of because um, the TNT doesn't destroy anything. So now you have the outer ring. So now you just make the inner ring, which goes like that. Have uh, since this is a one TNT cannon, not TNT cannon, uh, fireworks. You just want to make one space in the middle. Like so, so that when it's activated, it'll fall in the middle and not be in the water. And it'll be ejected out up from the middle. Um, so the next part is well, basically this is uh, the fireworks. Kind of, it's not like a TNT cannon where you it's automatically spaced out between blasts. You basically have to use your own judgment when you use the t the uh, fireworks machine. Oops. So you put I for it's easier for me just put two two uh, switches like this and that's done. Um, and what you do is you just put the whole ring. It's redstone. Yeah, and you put it in the middle as well. And then you put oh well then you're ready to you're ready to go pretty much. I just put like a little steps here sometimes. Just, um, yeah. 
just for decoration, but that's not, that's not really important. I'm in creative mode anyway, so I'll put the TNT in the middle, I'll put the TNT around it. First, you want to activate the outer ring, and then wait a little bit, not too long. Then you activate the middle one. Yep, and that, <laughs> yeah, that is a single fireworks. Just don't forget to turn it off before you reload it. That could cause some problems, like blowing up. And blowing up sucks, so you don't want to do that. Um, so that was a single, um, uh, firework cannon, you know, it makes one explosion in the air, it's really cool. If you're thinking about making, like, a mortar, it doesn't really work that way, because no matter how far you space out the explosion, the, it'll just, it's more of an anti-air gun than anything else, really. But I, I think it's just nice to have it as fireworks. Um, so... With the one TNT cannon, it's only one explosion, so it's not much of a fireworks display. Um, of course, you can make a bunch of them. Now, these ones go higher than any other, really, any other TNT cannon. This one here is the four TNT cannon. Daytime. Is the four TNT cannon. Uh, not TNT cannon. Uh, fireworks. That. Here. And this lock is four, and you can, you know bunch them up together and I guess you could bunch them up together and activate it all at the same time but or you get someone else to do it with you um, but the four the four is just probably the best with the, like the most TNT if you want a really good display see that makes a bigger explosion in the air um, now, you're thinking, oh, maybe I can make a bigger one. Well, problem with that, well, I have to hear out of this little platform. Um, this is the 8 TNT cannon. It pretty much has basically just enough power to lift it off of the platform. It's not the best. I wouldn't suggest building it you will probably end up blowing yourself up unless that's what you want to do but I made it just to show why it's not really the best fireworks display compared to the 4 of course which is probably the best and that is why <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> it kind of blew up part of, it didn't, like, destroy it, but it did, even with, like, the spacing I put it at, got some of the redstone blown off. There's a lot, of course, there's eight TNTs going in the air, but they're not even going that high. They blow up part of the thing, and that's not, that's not good. So, there it is, fireworks. I think it's pretty cool. Um, uh... So yeah, that's that's basically it. Um, uh, hopefully, I'll be getting the uh, explosions of the week out soon. But for now, see you later.